Wes Craven's reinvented and revitalized the slasher horror genre with the modern horror classic with manages to be funny, clever, and scary as a fright masking, a fright masked knife maniac stalks high school students in middle class suburbia. This is Scream on the Cross Border Interviews Night at the Movies. Hello. Hello. Who is this? Tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. Uh, I don't think so. What's that noise? Popcorn. You making popcorn? Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. Really? What? I'll do some scary movie. You like scary movies? Uh Uh-huh. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. Someone is playing a deadly game. It all began with a scream over 911. Someone who's seen one too many scary movies. Now he's taken his love of fear. Hello? Hello, Sydney. One step too far. Do you like scary movies? What's the point? They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big breasted girl who can't act. She's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. It's insulting. There are certain rules. That one must abide by. In order to successfully survive a scary movie, number one, you can never have sex. Hey, what are you doing this me? Never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, say, I'll be right back. Because you won't be back. Get another beer, you want one? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. Who do we make the rules? The police are always on track. If they watch Palm Night, it's safe time. He just kills by them. Don't answer the phone. Don't open the door. Don't try to hide. Everybody's a suspect! Go! Not scared, are you? Squeak. So, Michael, uh, this is the 1996 version of Scream. Now, before we get into our thoughts and feelings on the movie, I should let everyone know that we do take requests. This is a request that someone has sent in to actually give us our give uh, allow us to give us our feedback on some of the movies that they want us to review. So this movie is a review from someone who had submitted it. So if you want to scroll down. Give us a link, give us an idea of what movies you want to, or hit us up on social media, and we will totally review some of the movies. So, Michael, Scream, 1996. How old were you at that time? Do you want to know, or do you not want to know? I don't, but I do. (laughs) Four. He was four at this time, okay? So what are your thoughts on Scream, the very first installment of the franchise? What is that thing that Lady Gaga said and kept saying? Iconic, brilliant, cutting edge, never different, original, fantastic, brilliant. The movie's brilliant. Like this is what actually jumped started me into liking the horror genre. Um, before my parents are giant scaredy cats, and they will fully admit that they don't watch horror films. So therefore, we in my household did not watch horror films. Um, the first horror film I ever actually watched was El Orfanato, which is a Spanish film, one of Guillermo del Toro's Spanish horror movies. And then uh, <laughs> The Devil's Backbone, also in Spanish. So those are the two, the first two I watched and was like, mm, I don't know, horror's fine, blah, 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 blah. Then I watched Scream, <sighs> brilliant. Love this movie, I think it's super fun. It has such a great cast and I mean, It keeps you guessing. I love a good mystery. Love it. And the whole time you're trying to figure out who is it. And then like the twist of it being two of them. And like the whole thing is it was so cutting edge and it was so unique and a great commentary on the slasher genre. So I, I remember watching this for the very first time a lot, a lot earlier than you did. I would say probably about 1997 when it came out on VHS. I remember getting it for Halloween, if I'm not mistaken. What's that? <laughs> I know what it means. This is do not come for me. I know what one is. Um, I, I remember watching it and I, I, I take your, what you said uh, correctly. It is such a 
reinvention of the horror film, right? Because it, at that time you had Freddy Krueger, you had Jason, you had it about 10 times over and you knew who the main villain was. This was taking it and completely turning it on its face. It's we're not telling you until the last act. We're not telling you who the big bad guy is because it could be somebody here. It could be somebody. And during the movie, you had those moments of who is it? Is it this person? And you're trying to play basically Sherlock Holmes during the entire movie and the twist and turns that like, oh, you think it's going to be this person, but it doesn't because that person just got killed off. And it opens with the one of the most iconic movie scenes of any film, any uh, horror film has ever done with Drew Barrymore picking up the phone and basically asking, who is this? Do you like scary movies? And it has reinvented the way that scary movies are done. We killed off the biggest star in the f- first 15 minutes. Nobody does that. No, of the of that time, she was the biggest name. I would disagree with that. Who would you say? I'd say Courtney Cox was probably up there because remember, Friends was just airing and it was Friends mania at that time. That's fair. She's, but the, between the two of them, she was one of the oh, biggest. She was the most ever. iconic. Like everyone knew who uh, Drew Barrymore, not everyone yeah. was watching Friends, but it was still getting that groundswell of support. Oh, for sure. But like, so good. And like the whole time it was so meta and it had that conversation that, we all have had it of like, well, what are the rules of a scary movie? And we don't do this, don't do that. Like it was having that conversation and it was so meta and the whole world building that kind of went on of like, we're talking about scary movies while being in a scary movie. It was great. I can't. It was, and it launched a few careers as well. And it brought back a lot of people as well because you had Matthew Lillard in it, Nev Campbell, you had Courtney Cox, three relatively well-known people today there's probably a few other in there but it launched a a resurgence of horror films but it also launched a resurgence of spoof films as well and you can hardly say that in today's age as well because like you would never get a spoof of twilight they tried but it was never as popular as scary movie so i give credence to wes craven for imagining this and bringing it to reality because the twist and turns the acting was amazing the storytelling was amazing the directing was amazing and at that time it was the 1990s like i remember those that decade quite well and i can tell you that it was one of those movies that I remember people saying, you can't watch it because it's too scary. You can't watch it because there's too much blood and gore. And you didn't see that that often. It was great. I, I mean, it, it's such a good movie. And like Rose McGowan was in, was in it. Was and she really? Yeah, she oh. was the, the bitchy best friend. She's the one that tried to crawl through the garage door. That's true. The dog door. And Ski Ulrich being the villain, like he was like the predicted villain. Like everyone's like, it's gonna be him. But then like Matthew Lillard being the unpredicted villain and like that whole like scene where they were like stabbing each other, whatever, like Matthew Lillard improvised all those lines. So many of the lines were improvised in it. It was just such an amazing, like irreplicable or whatever the fuck that word is. Uh, Like it's, it's, it's just great. It's a great movie. I really like this movie. So let's let's talk about the rating system. So as always, one out of four. There is no half stars in this show because it's my show and I get to choose what we do. So out of and four, he me. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what would you give out of four? What would you give? Scream, nineteen ninety. Oh, you give it a five. I got to give it a five. I really do love this show. This this flick. This program. This picture. Um, now, okay, continue. Sorry. No, 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 go, go, go. I was going to say, now, if you would have asked 1997, 1998, Chris, this question, I would have said the exact same thing, five. I would have given it five right away. Looking at it now from a perspective of seeing what's come out, I'd give it a four. So I'm looking at it, if I was just watching it the very first time, I'd say amazing, five, totally five. So right now, as of right here, right now, if I if this was Chris Brown, nineteen ninety eight, uh, doing a review, 
totally five. So I'd give it a, we'd give it a perfect 10, which is very ironic and very hard I to like come that. by. <laughs> very hard to come Let's by. Let's keep that. <laughs> so um, I, if you have not seen it, if you have not seen the story arc, which uh, if you're about to, if you're listening to this, literally the next episode that's coming out is Scream 5, where we're literally going to be reviewing the next, the last movie that has come out in January. So if you haven't, Take your child, or don't take your child, actually. Take your child to go see a movie that might potentially traumatize them. If you Let's want, go on that journey. If you want a good 10 hours worth of movies, like, highly recommend you find, because they're each two hours long. No, a good 10 hours worth of movies? That's a questionable statement. If you want a good four hours... For oh, six, a good six do, hours of movies. Do we not talk about, of, do, do we not talk about three and four? I don't really love three or four. Okay. Maybe we'll have to review those two later. You just want me to say mean things about Emma Roberts. <laughs> Anyways. So if you want a good, if you want a watch a good series because it did start out strong. And if you're about to watch the next one, you'll understand what I say. It, it ended okay. I would highly yeah. recommend you watch the Scream franchise because it is highly recommended of, as reinventing the horror genre in, in the 1990s, 2000s, because it got rid of the whole, we know the big bad guy from the beginning and each movie is the exact same of who is it? And you have to play detective uh, PI the entire time. So, that's it? No? That's it. Oh. Yeah, no, I, yeah. Uh... <laughs> so with that, that is Scream on Night at the Movies on the Cross Border Interviews with Chris Brown.